Africa Unboxed. Hey lovely people, welcome back to the channel. It's Africa Unboxed. Yes, this is the part two of the white garment church Olumba Olumba Obu, of whom they believe that their founder is God and present here on earth now. This is the part two of my quest to get to know more and understand how that is. You can find the part one on this channel. Um, and my name is Archbishop Quatin Frempong. The immediate past administrator of BCS Ghana and the immediate past Bishop of Ghana. We are all about talking and discussing the kingdom of God here on earth, which was prophesied and foretold by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, confirming the prophecies. And it's all about God promised that he will come down on earth to establish a kingdom. And the kingdom, his illness will be called into. And that kingdom is brotherhood of the cross and star, which is the stone which was rejected, which has become the cornerstone of the building. Many people do not know brother of cross and star. Some have heard the treat it as occult, some deem it as uh, one man or a human being serving his fellow human being, or is because of man's misperception, misunderstanding, and getting the word of God through. Because God created man in his image and likeness. God made man as his temple. And never on earth has God come down to dwell amongst his creation without using this body, which we call man. So prophecy fulfilled. Our Lord Jesus Christ promised and assured us that he will come down. He's going to the Father and will come back to establish the kingdom. When the Father has established the kingdom, he will rule and reign with his elects. So this is the time that we have been charged, commissioned to go into the whole world to tell the whole universe that God is here on earth. Christ, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is also manifested. How do you see him? That is the pain of contention. That is the problem. To see him is to get to know of the secrets of the, the spiritual insight into the manifestation and mechanism of God. If you don't get this, it is not easy for you to understand. And if you don't understand, you cannot perceive. You cannot accept and believe that God is here on earth in human form. So in a nutshell, that is brotherhood of cross and star. That is the kingdom of God. And the founder and the leader is leader Olumba Olumba Obu, the sole spiritual head of the universe. Having established the kingdom, the kingdom has now been bequeathed to the first begotten son, His Holiness Olumba Olumba Obu, who rules and reigns the entire universe, seen and unseen, so that the fulfillment of the prophecy has become manifest. So we are very grateful to tell the whole universe that God is now on earth in the personality of leader Olumba Olumba Obo, His Holiness Olumba Olumba Obo, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the sole spiritual head of the universe, the creator uncreated. So we are inviting all and sundry to come and see what is happening in the world in Brother of the Cross and Star. This is where God reigns. This is where everything from God is taught, spiritually, physically. This is where God is teaching his elects to live in unity, selflessness, abstinence from all manners of sin, so that we can see him, we can dance with him, we can dance with him, and everything will be perfectly well. So since my colleagues are here, I have here Bishop, Archbishop, Abraham Hossein Fukuo and the uh, bishop is uh, one of our chief crusaders and evangelists and the uh, bishop Kluche who is in charge of our better branch at Yefri in this uh, region. 
Okay. So they are all here to at least participate and contribute. So briefly, we are talking about the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of God is brotherhood of the cross and star. And the owner, the founder, is leader Olumbo Olumbo Abu. And the kingdom has been handed over to the first begotten son, His Holiness, King Olumba Olumba Abu, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I'm very grateful at another time we shall continue from here, even now and forevermore. Amen. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the brother of Lord Jesus Christ, even now and forevermore. Uh, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. in the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. even now and forevermore. Amen. Uh, brother, <clears throat> the question is that you ask. Mm -hmm. So who are those reading this white garment? Um, according to Revelation, our Revelator John saw, our, our apostle, according to Revelation chapter 7 verse 13, 13 that was, this question also was asked by one of the 24 elders. He asked John, the reverter, the old apostle. So who are those? Read in this white garment. Um, John told uh, one of the 24 elders that, my lord, I don't know, you know. So it's very <coughs> good that you have asked because this question has been I has asked before. So this is the answer the elder um, gave to our Reverend John, the Divine. So, these people we are asking of, <clears throat> they are those who are uh, suffered uh, great tribulation and they have washed their garments in the battle of, of the Lamb. Therefore, they are before the throne of God, worshiping Him, or worshiping Him day in and day out, His temple. And the Lamb who seated on the throne shall cover them, he shall wipe all, all their tears, and he will lead them into the living fountain of waters. There, souls, death, and all the former things will never be experienced again. So, it's simple. My brother has just answered everything. Mm. Brotherhood, cross, and star. Is the new kingdom of God on it, or as you can say, is the regain paradise, is the new Noah's Ark, is the new Jerusalem, is mm. the new kingdom of God on it. Okay, yeah. So, if you still go to the gospel, our Lord Jesus Christ told his disciples to pray that our Father, what in heaven, that kingdom come over 2,000 years and so many people have been waited for this kingdom even if you remember I, our Lord Jesus Christ a personal friend Joseph of Arimathea if you read in Luke Gospel chapter um, 23 verse 50 downwards they say this man um, didn't uh, consent on their that evil plans so he was uh, of Arimathea, the city of the Jews. He also was waiting for the, the kingdom of God. So at one time, our Lord Jesus Christ, when he was interacting with some of the Pharisees and the scribes and the high priests and other uh, brethren, they demanded from our Lord Jesus Christ, when shall the kingdom of God come? So the kingdom of God come not with observation, low there or low there. The kingdom of God is within you. And the time of John the Baptist, John the Baptist will preach that the bread and repent because the kingdom of God is at hand. Mm. Good. And if you read Matthew 10 also from 5 downwards, our Lord Jesus Christ also sent his 12 disciples. He told them that they should not go to uh, to the Samaritans, the Samaritans or to any other people but rather go to the Lordship of Israel. And when they go, they should tell them that the kingdom of God is at hand. So if you go to that Luke 17, where the people were demanded uh, from Christ, when the kingdom of God shall come, he said the kingdom of God is with you. 
a simple man. Now the kingdom of God is now with, within men. It's now with men. So it's not far away from any other person. In the kingdom of God is meant for the children of God. And anyone who believes and baptizes has entered into the kingdom of God. Because mm. baptism is the root to the kingdom. When the Kodemos asked our Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord Jesus Christ told him that unless a person is born of water and of the spirit, else he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. And mm. he was telling that a man should be baptized mm. and receive the Holy Spirit. Because if a man is not born of the water and the spirit, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Because it is written by the scriptures of the uh, apostles of the prophets. Say, seek ye for the kingdom of God. And it writes to this. Mm. Uh -huh. And the, if you are not born again, you cannot see the kingdom. And if you are not born of the water and the spirit, you can also not enter into the kingdom. If, of God. if I may interrupt, um, how does one become born again? Is it the same as what other believers, or let me say, other Christians do? Or Olumba Olumba has another way of, um, you know, uh, process of making people born again? <laughs> Thank you. Um, when our Lord Jesus Christ came, he preached about the kingdom and he taught us the way a man one can enter to that kingdom. One uh, can enter into the kingdom of God. And so we have only one savior. That is our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, the uh, life. Good. So after our Lord Jesus Christ has finished his assignment, he told us that he's going, it's better for us, or it's a speed expedient for us to go. If he does not go, doesn't go, the king, uh, the comforter will not come. When the comforter comes, he will teach us and reprove the word of sin and of judgment. Because when our Lord Jesus Christ came, a great number of people rejected him, even those who were expecting even our Lord Jesus Christ, the Jews. We get our Lord Jesus Christ hundred percent. So our Lord Jesus Christ told us that the comforter or the helper and some people also call him a counselor will come and teach us all things and lead us into the accurate know of the truth. Because he has he has so many things to teach us. But at that moment Christ told us that we cannot bear that worse unless the comforter comes and he will lead us and teach us. So our Lord Jesus Christ leads lead us to uh, some stage. And the Holy Spirit person for Gilead or Lumbo Lumbo also has come to continue where our Lord Jesus Christ left us. So all the teachings uh, concerning about Jesus Christ, mm. all the teachings that the Lumbo Lumbo also is teaching us, is the same. So okay. if you believe and baptize, and you will be endowed the power of the Holy Spirit, because the scripture says, if ye live according to the flesh, ye shall die. And if ye do mortify, mortify the deeds of the flesh, ye shall live. So, our Lord Jesus Christ has finished his work. And the comforter also has come. And so the comforter is in the person of perfect, Olumba. Perfect. perfect. So, um, the comforter is in the name of Olumba, right? Yes. Okay. He's a promised comforter. Promised by Lord Jesus Christ. How, how or why do you believe that he's a comforter? Because many Christians believe that the comforter is a spirit and is immortal and cannot die. Okay. According to the scriptures of the prophets, Joel 2, 28, Say in the last days, the Lord God Almighty will pour His Holy, uh, Holy Spirit upon all flesh. Servants, uh, may servants, old men, young men, shall dream dreams and see better visions, and also they will also uh, prophesy. That's the Jewel mm. 28. So when our Lord Jesus Christ was just <clears throat> living the apostles, He told them to go and tarry. 
at Jerusalem till they endure with power from on high. So he didn't tell them that they should go and wait for a personality or a person. He said power. Okay. Go. And if you read John chapter 14, chapter 15, verse 16, was it when he, the spirit of truth, when he, Mm -hmm. huh. The so, emphasis is on the he. No, that her, that's a her. Okay. That her. And the work of that uh, uh, comforter has coming to perform is different between what Joel also prophesies. So this is a prophecy for our Lord Jesus Christ. So, so right, right now we have um, three different ones. Uh -huh. So the one you just referred to, the Joel one is different. Yes. The one power. the disciples waited is also different. Yes. And this other one is Olumba. Yes. Maybe that have been an oversight. Because if you read John chapter 14, chapter 15, verse 16, because when he is come, he shall convince the world of sin and of judgment and of righteousness. Mm. So that Joel prophesied, so he shall pour his spirit upon all flesh, young men and maid servants, old men and young men shall dream dreams and see better visions, and also they shall also uh, prophesy. Okay, so I think he wants to ask something. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, fortunately or unfortunately, you see, you ask the question about the, the comforter, okay, which is the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit is the working phenomenon of God, mm. of Christ, and mm. anybody God has endowed with his powers. Mm. Okay. And the work that summoned the mission that. Wait a minute. You said the Holy Spirit is the power of God, right? Yes. Yes. And to. Yeah, and, the, and the comforter can be any person who the spirit is upon. Upon, yes. Okay. Okay. So, uh, the prophecy of Joel, you see, is the working phenomenon, the power of the Holy Spirit, which was endowed with the apostles. So, he asked them to go away. So, when you go to, I think, Luke uh, 24, verse 49, it is where yeah. they had gathered in Jerusalem. That's uh, and then asked also when he yeah, asked to when they were you know he asked them to go and receive the power and it is enshrined in Luke 24 verse 49 okay it was there one day and then when the spirit came upon them you should know that before then when the spirit had not come upon them they were not performing any miracles yes they were not doing anything but when the spirit fell and dwell upon them they were healing they were rising uh, raising the dead they were doing a whole lot of things yeah okay so you as you sit there when uh, the holy spirit is endowed on you you can equally do miracles according to the dictates of the holy spirit okay. the measure and the power that has been given unto you okay. but when you compare this to the comforter which is the holy spirit who will come and teach and lead and who what he is he is the embodiment of that holy spirit okay so the embodiment of the holy spirit is olumba yes so the question is how did he become because was it was he born he was born when was he born he was born in 1918 okay 30th december okay Okay, before, so, so, his birth, so, he, before his birth, mm. there had been a lot of prophecies in his area of birth, his town of birth. There were a lot of prophecies. So many miracles happened during and after his birth. Okay. okay. And then he started his ministry at the day that he was born. He manifested. We will say born, but spiritually it's manifestation because God is omnipresent and God is everywhere. And at any given time, God is God. Okay. Okay. So his manifest like our Lord Jesus Christ doesn't hear I would say the manifestation of Christ because he is the one the same yesterday and today. So he can manifest and de manifest. So when the comforter manifested, you know, all the prophecies around the miracles and all what he did, and from his teachings, when he started his teachings, then he revealed himself, proved beyond reasonable that. He is the comforter. Okay. So in what way did he prove himself as the comforter? In what way? Yes. I told please. you even at his birth. Is somebody a woman who was uh, blind when he heard of his, uh, his 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 manifestation? 
he just tried inquisitive to go and see what was happening. And the woman received his sight. And there are a lot of prophecies and there are a lot of miracles. He said, even at age three or so, when he was playing with youth, he would tell his colleagues, he would tell them, call me teacher. You see, and he did a lot of miracles until he grew up and he started preaching, calling from selfless way of living, calling his elects one after the other till the kingdom was officially revealed. Eh? The kingdom was officially revealed after he has assembled his elects. And the elects are all those who were with him. Uh, if I may ask, how, how, how was the kingdom revealed? How was the kingdom revealed? Yes. There. Um, before this, um, before the arrival of the leader of Lumbo Lumbo on this April 21st, there was a, a, a prophecy surrounding his coming, his birth, and all that you were expecting of him. If I may interrupt again, where um, these prophecies, there was a prophecy by a certain prophetess. Were, were these prophecies taken out from the Bible or from other men of God? I say a prophet, a prophetess. Okay. Uh -huh. At Biapan. Okay. Uh -huh. Where he was hailed from. Good. And so that woman saw that revelation and he went to the chief, the king of that uh, town or that village. Say, Nana, this is the revelation. I have been revealed to know a revelation I saw. Say God is coming to dwell with mankind on earth. And that God is supposed to be uh, let's say be a part of that uh, Olumba's family. So become a uh, 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 the one who is coming to teach the whole world and he's the almighty God so the people even refuse to just hear that prophecy so when the time came sir, there was continual revelation about his coming so the woman was once again revealed to uh, the king that this is another revelation I have saw, uh, I have saw. so the almighty God has told me that if you didn't believe this prophecy there's no going to be a rain for seven years no pregnant woman will deliver seven years and all the men also he rendered all of them also uh, impotent, impotent. <laughs> <laughs> so they just joking with the uh, the revelation yeah and so, first year, no rain. Second year, no rain. Seven years. And all these things happen. Then, later on, they realize that no, this is a prophecy we have to believe. So, when they also came together and also believed this prophecy, then it started raining. Men were delivered. And even there was no birth, there was no death for that seven years. Then wow. after they have believed this uh, message from that prophetess, then everything also became normal. Okay. What, right. Was there a reason why nobody died and nobody gave birth? Yeah. Was it a way to let them know? Yes. Yeah, I am Bishop John Kuchi. Like the mm -hmm. question you are asking. Mm. I want to get back a bit. The woman who gave the prophecy in her dreamland, she saw that someone got dead. And then she saw a certain man in a red garment. Then the man told her that the person that is dead is sleeping, that he can wake him up. Mm. Then the woman, the prophet, the prophet said, but this is a dead person that everybody is crying for. Then he told the prophet said, that, follow me. And then the prophetess followed him to where the corpse was. Mm. And then he knocked his head on the ground. 
in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, three times. Then he used his finger and write O, O on the stomach and then under the feet. And then the woman resurrected. Resurrected. Back to, back to life. So was this, was this, uh, The prophetess. Was had, the prophetess that had, had a dream. dream. When he, the, the person was resurrected, the prophetess was happy. Okay. Then he asked that, now that we have visited this person, what is your name so that I can go and tell people about you? Mm. He said, go and tell everybody that I am the light of the world. My name is Ulumba Ulumba Obu, the light of the world. And in this time, the woman did not know anything about Ulumba. But when the name was mentioned, Ulumba, Ulumba, Ubu, then she went with the dream to the king of that village that, where is Ulumba's family? That this is the message he revealed. God revealed to him, a her, that the man who said his Ulumba, Ulumba, Ubu, resurrected a dead person in the dream and said he is the light of the world. Okay, so but, fast forward so we don't waste too much time. Okay. When 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 Olumba was born, yeah, how was he given that name? Okay, now identified as the person in the dream and okay. was given that name. Now Olumba was born in the Olumba family. Ah, he was born in the Olumba family, and the truth behind is that the mother of Olumba did not sleep with the father of Olumba. So Olumba was also a virgin born. Like our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. And that is why when he was in the stomach of the mother, he used to be communicating with the mother. I see. So it's a mysterious child from the beginning. Okay. That the day he was born, there is a light that came and stood on the house where she will be born. That one is a sign like our Lord Jesus Christ when the three wise men saw the star. That same star came and stood on top of the roof of the Lumba's family. Mm. So when the woman that gave the prophecy went to the chiefs and they couldn't believe, then that is where Archbishop was explaining that the woman said, okay, there will be no child, but no cry of a child, no woman will have a pregnancy. Men are ready in impotency after seven years. But the only child that they will hear this cry in the community is that Olumba, Olumba, Olu. And so the seven this, years yes. passed, nobody got pregnancy. Mm. When the vision completed, the seven years, end of the seven years, this child was born, Olumba, Olumba. So the blind woman, who was blind by birth, she was happy that, ah, there's no child cry in this town for so many years. Where is that child that I just heard the name? And they're crying. Someone to lead me to also welcome the child into the world. So as they left his uh, her hand to the child, where the child was, he said, let me also touch the child. As he touched the side, the side was restored. Back, was restored mm. back to me. That was the first miracle. Because he said, I'm in the light. As he told the prophet, now the light has come. So Olumba, Olumba, when he was three years old, he said, there was a woman that died mm. and the people were crying and he told the father who did not touch the mother before he was born that they should take him to the dead person how he resurrected him he will resurrect the person because the family knows already he's a mysterious child they took him to the house he said everybody should leave the, the room then he stressed his body on the cup and said wake up three times and the person got back to life wow that is another sign when he was five years old he was playing with police on a field and then a bird was passing and then defecated on him his children his police were laughing at him he said the bird will come and apologize we did a shot that the bird came and fed on his shoulder and the bird was looking into his eyes like he was communicating with him then he used his feather to clean the mess. And then his police said, but 
the bed who uh, uh, defecated on you came and perched on your shoulder. Why don't you catch the bed and kill? He said, when someone offends you and then comes to apologize, do you see get annoyed with the person? You forgive. So the bed has come and apologized to me, and that is why I, I couldn't harm the bed, and the bed flew and went. Now, there was another woman who was barren for 12 years. Mm -hmm. The woman, you know, in the olden days, they used to go to the stream with a pot to fetch water. Mm -hmm. When the woman was coming, he made this thing five years old, Ulumba, on a, a pitch. Then he told the woman, I want to drink water. You know, in those days, they only dig the pot in the water. Yeah. There's nothing like carp or, carp or anything so to fetch, yeah. The woman says, Oh, but I don't have any cup to pour in the water. But the woman quickly went and plucked a leaf and then turned the leaf as a cup and pour the water. You know, when you leave, no matter how you turn the leaf and pour water, some will be still leaking. Yeah. But he managed to drink. He said, I want again. The woman patiently pour another one. He said, I want again. You know, if it is to a you have been annoyed because coming from a far stream and the water is destroying, going on the ground. A small boy is just asking, I want to do that. But on the third time, when he drank the water, then the remaining one, he gave it to the woman and said, drink, your barrenness is over. Mm. When the woman went to the house and told the, the husband, by that time, people are already aware of the miracle in that was born with him. So the husband said, since he says so, so the woman had 12 children. Wow. Later, he went and apologized that she went, she went and begged the Uluma that she's tired of having children. So let, her, let him seize the, 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 the child. Room, okay. the, so that she cannot have a, a child of the fruit of the womb anymore. Okay. Now let, let's. I want to. But this thing is dying, so I want okay. to ask some straight questions. Okay, then, let's not try to answer too long. Uh -huh, okay. okay, make it short, short. Okay. Was was Olumba Olumba married? Did he have children? Yes. Okay. Yes. And from your narration, you've also said that he's um, God or God reincarnate. Yes. Okay. So is he still alive? Yes, he's alive. He's alive. We can find him where? Okay. Um, okay. Physically. Okay. Okay. As you sit here, when your heart is clean, he can reveal himself unto you. Physically, if you want to see him, you have to go to Calabar. Okay. So I have a question. If God answers prayers, and you pray through Jesus Christ. Who is answering man's prayers now? The Father said, Our Lord Jesus Christ put power in his name. You get me? Mm. So his disciples used the name and wrote a lot of miracles. And he is saying that he's also put power in his name. So, brother of God says, I will pray without the name, we, we don't pray without the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. He, for to prove to the whole world that the same yesterday, today, and forever. So you pray in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. But as as we all know, well, as as let me say, as a Christian who doesn't belong to Olumba Olumba, this thing we we believe that when you pray in the name of Jesus, it is you are using the name of Jesus or you are standing in the name of Jesus. To ask or make a request. And not even okay. Jesus, let me but Jesus the Christ. When yes, Jesus, Jesus Christ. But it is God who answers. No, so what? if Olumba Olumba is God and is here on earth right now, how our how are our prayers answered? Who is answering them? That's why the Father is giving you and me a telephone number. And the telephone number is O O O. 